actors are here to serve what the playwright meant, for good or bad, to make sense out of it, to, to serve it, and uh, that's what we've missed. And, uh, and Reg was about all that, you know, Reg. Reg was the epitome of the Stanislavski adage, love the art in yourself, not yourself in art. And Reg was always looking for information, uh, always trying to find another way through something, at the play that he was doing, the adaptation of that Chekhov at the end of his life. Mm. And we talked about it a lot on the phone. And, but it wasn't about talking about Reg's play, it was about he wasn't happy with it. How do I do this? And finding and, and, and picking your brains and going and reading a book that you suggested or picking up on an idea. He was the most unego driven man that I know. He wasn't afraid of criticism. He was after information purely for serving what he was doing. Uh, he, was not, he was not after flattery or praise, just was so involved and so loved performing. And I think that's where he got his intellectual and physical energy from. And our friendship started when he invited me to take part in that Shakespearean festival. I had this idea of him doing, extending it. I chose the Plantagenet Kings, which grew into something that Reg supported, and he ran around trying to find a, a locale for me to do it, which was not instigated by me. And, he was, and we did it. I did a uh, one run through one production, one performance of it, and then it was sad because when we finally got our season and uh, got our lighting plot and had time and space to do it, during the rehearsal period he died. And I understand not too long before he died he was running around trying to help other people. We were all encouraged by the CFA that the home was the safest place. But Reg died fighting a fire no one could fight. Reg was always a very forthright, honest man. And one of the first things I noticed about him, he was not a man who was going to put up with cant. And uh, always said it the way it was, and said it to the people who were responsible, mm. not to the wardrobe girl, or like a lot of actors who sp vent their spleen on someone who's not responsible. He always went to the jug for the person who was responsible, and I think he inadvertently shut a few doors on avenues of work, which didn't seem to daunt his enthusiasm for it all, and that was the thing I remember most, was his loyalty and his support, and and I'm just beginning to realize how what an accomplished man he was, which is again indicative of the fact that he never spoke about himself, mm. always about what he was involved in, what we could do. A lot of us get locked up in ourselves. I mean, this is why you know, we're trying to get a bunch of actors together. Uh, to focus on one thing is very difficult because mm. we're all concerned with ourselves. We're always actors are more concerned with the next job. That's why they put up with camp, there's a networking that goes on and it's, it's you know, it's all out of shit. And the older you get, the more, if you've got any sense, you see, you see what the riddle is. And I've never been able to take part in it, and neither had Reg. But um, when you love something, you draw a lot of energy from that because it takes you out of yourself. You, you create something from behind the brain, from your own, your own miasma of thoughts that we all have. And it's, it's an energy and a focus that I think Reg had. Reg probably went further into himself. I, I, I think I'm probably a far more energetic, expressive performer, where I, I'm, I have more to do, I, I'm more concerned with pyrotechnics, I'm more concerned with things and energy, um, vocal things. Reg just simply did it the way he saw it. It was, he was a far more introverted, I wouldn't call myself an introverted performer, although I work from the brain, I work in that way of sense memory, and, mm -hmm. which I found in my old age can be a little bit destructive. You know, I, it, it does weigh you down when you use your own emotional ebb and tease out your own 
emotional fibers to create some sort of um, well of emotion which you can then put away mm. and you know, it's there and I've always worked like that, I always needed to find the inspiration and it can be a bit wearing uh, but I think Reg was a, a tremendously open performer, he just did it the way he saw it, he wasn't concerned with um, making people stand up and notice. Wasn't concerned with standing out. And I think, uh, uh, I think whether innately or consciously, there's always there's an element of that with me that uh, I'm. I love using my voice, and I, I choose things which enable me to to use different sounds. And mm -hmm. Reg wasn't particularly concerned with any of that, which doesn't make it right or wrong. That's the, that's the difference between us, I think, that he was, uh, he was less concerned with the pyrotechnics and less concerned with the virtuosity. There was a rage in Reg, although he was a sweet man, and I think he raged against a lot of injustice, a lot of things he saw were dishonest, a lot of cant. But there was a sweetness in him that made him socially viable, socially acceptable, and uh, and loved. I certainly loved him, and I can't believe he's not there. And uh, I think the world is a, an emptier place for. There must have been other people like Reg. I haven't known too many people like Reg. I have a brother who's very like Reg in many ways. Honest, forthright men. And honesty, we don't see it very much. We certainly don't see it from our politicians, except for Bob Brown, a few people around him. But honesty is at a premium, and that's what Reg had in spades. He saw it the way it was, and he, he wasn't afraid to vocalize it, no matter what the consequences. And I loved him for that.